Number one, Milo. This flavour is goated. And if it's not in your top five, we can't be friends. Ice Batu or Ae Batu Malaysia is a homemade dessert that was once popular amongst kids. It was made by freezing liquid ingredients into long plastic bags for easy consumption. Flavours range from Milo to Bandung to Coke and just about any other iconic beverage you can think of. Back when kids used to frequent playgrounds and run around HDB void decks, there would usually be an auntie or uncle nearby selling Ice Batu from their own homes. You know because there always be a line of sweaty kids waiting outside their home. Ugh! I can smell the memory! In Singapore's humidity, this was an unrivaled treat mainly because it was affordable and accessible. In the past, these sold for less than a dollar. Bro, here are my top 5 flavours of ice batu with very reasonable explanations. Number 1, Milo. This flavour is goated. And if it's not in your top 5, we can't be friends. Number 2, Coke. This, right after playing catching on ice and water, slaps. Number 3, Bandung. Ping and chill. Number four, Sprite. The side piece if Coke wasn't available. Number five, Assam. This was a bit more of an acquired taste when I was younger, but the sour plums hit every time. It seems like the closest thing you can find nowadays are those mass-produced, fruity-flavoured ice lollies from your neighbourhood mini-marts that usually cost a bit more. Ice Batu is also popular in different parts of Southeast Asia like Brunei and Malaysia. And another common variation of Ice Batu is of course, Ice Kacang, which is essentially shaved ice with red beans and syrup. You're better know this, oh. Alternatively, you can also find sellers on Carousel who make custom flavours. There are way more options available now like lychee or mojito. So, what were some of your favourite ice batu flavours? E. Yeah, one more. <laughs>